Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Excellency Profesor Dr. Mahfud Junaidi As a lecturer in the philosophy of Islamic education Unforgettable all of my friends whom I love Firstly, let's thank unto our God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The most gracious and the most merciful because of his blessings and mercy, I was allowed to give a speech here without any trouble and obstacle. Secondly, my salawat and salam always be with our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Before I continue my speech. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sawi Aisha Putri. I will deliver a speech under the title Anti-Corruption Law. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know corruption? What is corruption? As we know, it is not uncommon for corruptive behavior to become something that we often find in the community. One of them is the rise of news about the high level of corruption among government officials. Corruption seems to be a disease that spreads to the blood vessel in the life of this nation. Corruption is an act that can damage the order of life of the nation, harm state finances, and even hinder the development of national development. Turn with me. Why our country Indonesia has never progressed for a long time? Why? Indonesia is a country with the natural resources. It's a tribe, culture, and language, which is aspect. But why? Why is Indonesia not development like other countries? There are still many children who have to drop out of school because they have no money. There are still many hungry children and there are still many people who live in poverty, roots with the ground, because they have no place to live. Why? Because their rights have been deprived by people who are only concerned with their own wealth. Let us reflect on how detrimental corruption is. Once that shall be enough for the improvement of the education of the nation's generation, helping the economy of the community, and helping the street community are taken by rights inside. As in the words of the Prophet which reads, Whoever I have heard in a job, then I give his salary, then something he takes outside his salary is corruption. Hadis narration Abu Dhabi. Corruption is an indication of destruction of one's dignity as a human being. Corruption in the health, the destruction of a nation. Then, what makes someone entangled in corruption? Poverty the cost living, and fight, or all two. But the main problem lies in integrity. What is the integrity? Integrity is a moral and ethical principle that radiates dignity. Then, what are the indicators of integrity? Faith and empathy, honesty, empathy, responsibility, Fairness, 
idealism. We must make integrity the blood that flows in our blood. Ladies and gentlemen, just imagine how ironic our country is. Indonesia is a country based on Pancasila, being a country that is ranked at the highest level of corruption in the world. Corruption cannot be said to be an ordinary crime, but an extraordinary crime. Why? Because the impact of corruption not only damages the morale of nation, but also damages the state of the younger generation in the future. As young generation, we play an important role in the fight against corruption. We are agents of change in the future, capable of bringing positive change to society. Together, we can build a corruption-free society and realize a more just and strong Indonesia. That's all my speech. If you have found many mistakes in my speech, please forgive me. Thank you for your nice attention. And as I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.